All right, guys, welcome back. We are doing badges only with the turtle pack. So uh, when you end your turns, only have this guy or sloths if you end up finding any of those. But yeah, end your turn, only badges, any food you want, including stuff like honey. So you're allowed to summon other things during combat. But uh, yeah, badges, you can buy, sell, whatever else you want during your turns. I'm wondering what I look for to start. Maybe ducks? It's been a while since I did a classic one of these. I could also go for pigs, but yeah, I'm looking for ducks. <laughs> and there they are. Okay, cool. Guess I just roll, watch the apples turn into honey and back again sometimes. And let's be the... I don't know, the bumbling... Bumbling abs? I don't like those names. You mushroom pill the tapir and it spawned a level 2 1616 octo instead of another tapir. Uh... Wait. Oh, because Tapir's summon normal... St I, yeah, I definitely got, like, my... My head wasn't working that last lobby. I, I think Tapir's do summon stuff with normal stats. It's Mushroom Pill that makes them 1-1. One -one. Spider Pill for the win. Yeah, if I don't get it from the Duck combo, then I will be going for Spider Pills, I think. But I don't mind getting, like, a... You know, if I do find one from this, then it'll be summoned as, like, a 5-5 five -five instead of a 2-2. Two -two, so, it'd be good for the stats, at least. Uh, I could also just do this now and try and find like an early spider, but <laughs> I kind of like that less. So I will continue rolling. I really do want like a special thing here. Just make this have a chance to show me something interesting. Calavera, hello. First stream, found your YouTube channel like four days ago and here I am. Hey, welcome. Glad you could make it. Take the 1 in 100 chance for a 2-2 two -two badger. I mean, yes and no, because like this is a 1 in 10 chance, but it's when I could be instead rolling for multiple spiders and pills in one turn. So like, it probably makes more sense to go for that instead of what I'm doing. Because, you know, I could do this, because the first two turns you don't need to do anything. So I could have done this and maybe found an early spider, and then I wouldn't have to roll as much now to find spiders. Sadly, that is not a badger. There is a spider, though. Okay, so I can fill that next turn, then hopefully find another one. I'd have, like, two gold to roll or something, so there's a chance. What level is sloths? They're level one. Or tier one. So yeah, they can show up at any time, but they're very rare, so... <laughs> it's been a while since I found one. Spider plus pill, and you got a badger. Oh, very lucky. Let's see, all empty. Good, good, good. You got one. Yeah, I wonder how many people are going to get it on the first turn. And hey, Shifty. <laughs> Lazy babies. Solid name. Okay, please, badger me. Badger. No. I'll leave it there for like a second. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Yay! Badger! Cool. Okay. Well, I can't do anything else this turn, so... At least I have him. Maybe should have frozen honey, though. Although, maybe not. I don't know. If I, get kind of, if I can get it kind of large or find a normal one, then I'd probably rather get, like, garlic on something. Like, these things aren't going to be killing each other with their abilities yet, I feel. Because, like, this thing does one damage from its ability. So, it can kill something with 3 HP. Second spider plus pill, second badger. Oh my god, that is luck. Haven't even found one spider and I was hard rolling. Yeah, it, it, it does happen sometimes. Yeah, see, that was a duck combination, I think. That's like a, a spider pill with an apple or a, an otter or something. Yeah, duck combo again, probably. Although it may not have been. Maybe they did just, like, pill. And then they, like, bought and sold, like, three otters. I don't know if that works out in terms of all the other stuff, but uh, yeah, I'd rather not like buy sell these because like this thing would be a five three by default if I just like stack another one on top. So I'm just going to yeah, <laughs> just gonna hard roll. I think kind of tempted to buy an apple, but we can just buy salads or something. So I'd rather roll and buy that later. Amazing, and I can't do that because that will kill my <laughs> second badger. So I guess you stay in front. So I have three of these ready. 
Yeah, I'm a little bit scared though, because like I can't beat this team. I draw with that team, draw with that team, lose to that team. Although there's a lot of teams that don't have anything, so there's a chance. Found your badger with one gold left. Oh, Kelby. On oh, the 1-1 one, one lobby is now just popcorns and orca luck. Wait, I want to see what the winning team looks like. I want to see how many like levels people can get on those. Could be... Oh, dude, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, this is my team. <laughs> this is my team and I love it. Okay, so I like this being here. But maybe I'll move it there. Because then, like, if this somehow dies to a cheetah snipe or something, then, you know, I can soak up that hit instead. Uh, do I want more garlic or do I just go really hard on getting stuff? I think I want to get, like, turtles pilled onto these. That's probably the best I'm going to do. But, like, yeah, this would do three damage, but with garlic it only does one damage, so... Yeah, that does one damage to this, that does one damage to that, that does, like, two damage to this, so... It's probably the safest way to keep everything. A 2-2 two -two badger draws with a 5-4 badger? Oh, with a 5-3 badger. Yes, it does. It does, but it very quickly won't if you start scaling it or give it uh, garlic, so... <laughs> you know. Yeah, fine here. Alright, sorry XRB. Uh, I don't know whether I canned food. I, I like... These are my badges. I'd like to get another one for this one, but I imagine this isn't that worth it, so I'm just going to roll it, I think. And continue rolling. I will definitely buy a pair. I'm going to throw it on my back one, I think. Yeah, throw it on there. I'm not freezing a pill unless I like have a turtle frozen. Okay. GG. Turn 25 win in the 1v1 one 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 lobby. Hey! Multi-congratulations. <laughs> XRB, don't angry turtle me. So these usually end in infinite draws. It happened... Because we've only done this, like, one time. And I believe that one game did go into, like, infinite draws. But I died too early to see it. But, you know, I can see it happening. Because once these things get so big... Like, Melon won't protect them, and, you know, it may just depend on uh, how many honey you have or something, but it'd be kind of a risky play as well. And I know I could, like, buy an old Badger and, you know, save me loads of stats, but I'm just going to buy this and hope it doesn't hit it too often. Continue rolling. Just freeze, okay, stat food, and then keep it going. So, how much damage do you do? You're doing, like, four, so this still lives... But it will probably die to, like, another badger popping off. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of all risky, to be fair. So I'm going to, like, leave it where it is. But probably not great. Yeah, there's lots of honey badgers around. I miss honey badger meta. Sort of. I actually hated honey badger meta. Where there would always be, like, a massive backline honey badger that would, you know... <laughs> Get like two massive trades and then just summon a 1 1 B to turn a draw into a win. But I do miss when everyone would run badges because I, I feel like it's kind of a, a chaos pet. And they're the most fun ones. Tiger Badger is my all time favorite strat. It is great. Now, like, because Tiger doesn't um, completely copy the ability because obviously a level 1 Tiger just makes it copy as it as a level 1 ability. But with uh, Tyrannodon, that actually does copy it completely, so. Now, like, Tyrannodon Badger is the <laughs> the new play, in my opinion. The more meme -y one. Yeah, I shouldn't have buffed that, because this is the one that's actually, like, protected. Oh, well, it's only doing, like, three damage. That's fine. Uh, I don't want chili. I need, like, protection. I'll keep freezing this, but I don't think I've seen a turtle yet. So, you do two there, you do, like, two there, and you do, like, four there. Yeah. Still working. I kind of wish I still had this guy as like a 2-2 two -two though. Because I can maybe scale up one really hard and run it to the front. And I can just use my 2-2 two -two to soak up. <laughs> Get all the damage that that sort of 
Put south afterwards, and that's scary. It's a trade, good. You missed out on a turn or two. I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't know what to do with the chili. Chili's good, but I do want to find, like, melon for everything. Maybe even a frontline um, steak eventually, but probably not. Yeah, I'm going to leave chili. I think we just buy both of these. Let's get that. I'll keep the turtle frozen for a little bit longer, but... I don't know. Like, because I can just find melons in the shop later. Like, next turn later. So I don't want to hold on to it for too long. Should have frozen the snail. Forgot. Tyranodon is better than Tiger for basically any faint pets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm jealous. I need to get some of these melons. I think I win against you. Then stay away from me. <laughs> Another draw. I thought I had, like, had that easy. That was Kelby's team. I'm just going to unfreeze it. If we find a pill, then, you know, I should have kept it frozen longer, but... Hold on. I didn't mean to click that. Free me. But yeah, I'd rather just find stuff in here. Okay, another pear, sure. Don't mind it. Still don't want garlic. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I could throw this, like, to the front now, and it might be able to get, like, really good trades. This is great. Like, I'd rather this not pop to another badger yet, because these things are all barely doing any damage, you know? They're doing, like, four damage max. So I'd rather this just hit another massive badger and trade that way. So then, you can kill this, that's fine, and then these two are relatively safe. Sloth? Wait, someone has a sloth? Did they get it this turn, or...? Yeah, I don't see it yet. Oh wait, Conan, you got a sloth! And you said no, does that mean you're about to die? <laughs> No matter what, use the sloth. Yes, use the sloth. We need to see it. Oh, honey badger. Oh, and Sky, thank you. Puts it in sap builds. Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, I am going to pump up. I don't know. This is all kind of bad. Because right now, this is going to pop to, like, a nothing. <laughs> you know, like, this dies, it hits this, and then this takes, like... I mean, I could just do that, and it's, like, slightly better. Because then it'd be blocking, like, you know, four damage instead of two. But it's still not very impressive. Do I just keep taking these? It doesn't make much of a difference now, but it may be better later. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right. Whatever. Whatever it takes. Sloth is going to get decimated. It probably will, yeah. There he is! Okay, he still has 2 HP as well. I wish you luck. It's going to be rough out there. But... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ken. Your team is so weak. What's your so bad in the game? It's fine. This one is a lot of luck. Like, it is... Hey, I can tow the pill if I wanted to. I'd rather do this, though. And then I guess I'll freeze the pair. Yeah, like, I don't need to get any equipment on there, like, in a rush. I can do another one. Hey, cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? Let's change the order a little bit. Let's run it like this. Because this thing is almost... No, it's still not doing that much damage, actually. I need to level this. Maybe. Once I level it, it'll be doing about 20 damage, which means this will block it perfectly. But then as it scales up past that, it'll start to, like, damage this to the point where it'll just die. So, I don't know. I don't know what my play is there. Looks like I'm good here, though. <laughs> Still safe somehow. You accidentally pilled a badger instead of a turtle early on. It's only a matter of time. Oh, God. That is, yeah, that's the sort of misplay that would, like, keep me up at night. <laughs> right, I'm going to stack some stats on here, I think. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know whether I just, like, level it up and then throw it to the back instead. Because I want it to be higher level. And I want to keep scaling it, but I can't do both forever. 
I'm going to leave it for now. I don't think it's... Yeah, look, I'm just going to stack it here. So I'm going to stack that one onto there, and then, like, once it's maybe 30-30, I'm going to move it further back instead of um, keeping it as a front line. Uh, sure. I'm freezing these ones instead of freezing chocolate because I'd rather find good stat food. Because this pack isn't great with, like, buy-selling stuff to um, get stats. Like, the best thing is cow, and cow is good. The second best thing is mammoth, and you need to find a pill for that to work. So, <laughs> not as insane. And Jelly, thank you for the seven months. Very kind, thank you. Welcome back. Uh, let's keep this going. Or maybe do this first, just to see what shows up. And it is a mammoth. I am for that. Okay. For now, I'm going to keep stacking this one. I'm just going to play this, because then I can save some money. Love all of this. Ooh. Yeah, I have to. The only problem is... Oh, yeah, no, this is bad. Because, <laughs> like, if I want to do this properly, then I'd have to, like, combine badger, buy, sell, cow, buy, cat. But that means these would get replaced by milk by the time I have my cat on the board. So maybe I just embrace that I won't have these. That's probably fine. I don't know where to put this either, but I'll leave it there. Guys vote for Penguin to be buffed up sap. Turn Penguin to its former glory. I'd be down for that. I feel like people just don't like Penguin that much anymore. And yeah, it deserves to be back. Uh, what I'm going to do here is buy sell cow, buy cat, buy milk, and then roll once to try and find more food. I'm not going to buy these ones. Like, I want to try and get good cat value out of these. Let's spread the stats a little bit. Come on, one more roll. One more roll for stat food. Stat food, good. Okay. And... You know what? Sure. Sure. I will level this badger next turn. So right now, you are doing like 21 damage. So this this takes like 1 damage. So this is still like great value here. It's going to start causing problems soon though, I think. Penguin only would be so fun. We did do that recently. We did it with um the Arctic Penguin as well though. Or African Penguin, whatever it is. There's two penguins in the game at the moment, and we <laughs> we did a game where you could use either. Yeah, I should get like a honey on my team soon, I think. Or just something for my backline. Like he needs something. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, I think. It's like a two two cost pair at the back. Love this. I would love to buy mammoth, mushroom, and pill. But then I'd only have two rolls to find another pill, and considering how many food items there are in the pack, it's not that likely to happen, so I think I'll just roll past that. And you know what, sure, that may be the end of my next turn, so. Buy a pill, mammoth, buy melon, roll three times. Maybe buy another badger if it's already here. Buy sell a cow, I don't know. <laughs> All sorts of options. You have a melon and a steak tiger. Oh, badger, how do I combine them to keep melon? Uh, to keep the thing you want, you have to combine something else on top of it. So, like, if I if this had any other random thing and I stack that on top of something with melon, then you keep the melon. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I need... <laughs> I need something. Like, I think melon's better right now, but I probably want to find, um... Honey eventually. Um... Just in case, why not? I will not be freezing pills yet, though. But yeah, this is starting to get worrying because these things are all, like, above 20 attack now, so... Being level 2 means that they are now doing more than 20 damage, so... We're getting max value out of the melon, but we're going to be starting to take just... More... More damage over the top. Okay, good. Kino confirms. Drag the stake. Yes, drag the stake. I'm pretty sure, at least... If it is wrong, I'm very sorry. It's the sort of thing that I do, like, by instinct now. Aha! He lived. Yeah, I, I probably should just get, like, <laughs> like honey on the team somewhere. Uh, it depends if I do want to do stuff like this. Let's try it. I'll at least do that. I don't know if I'm going to level it up, like, the first opportunity I see. 
but I like having the option to level it up. So what I may do is like put this chocolate on my back line here and just keep everything like one notch away from being level two. And then I can, you know, level it up whenever I think I need it. And then, um, yeah, I think that could be good. GG's, your team was ass. I mean, honestly, you may have been spared, like, badger hell, because I don't know where this is going. Conan's still alive, and it's level three! Wait, did you get the, the achievement for that? Like, I got my level three sloth achievement from a versus lobby. It's an extinct only one, I think. I obviously didn't get the ribbon, but that's been the only time where I've managed to get a level three. And yeah, there is a, a good example of why it's good to have honey, I think. Now, I'm doing this. All right. Let's do that. I will buy this, but I will also buy honey whenever I see it. Don't trust steak. These things are still fine. So, you're still fine. But this will probably die to, like, the opponent's badger. See, I don't know. Oh, you died, Conan. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for jinxing it. You tiny such mush at the back. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, mushroom, like, is more interesting. I feel like melon were better early because it actually kept your things alive and you trade better. But move the second badger because chili. Uh, fair. Are people running chili? Oh, that's bad trades for me. <laughs> okay. I'm losing HP. Should also probably do that. There's no reason to have, like, my level 2 hitting a different one. Okay, so we want to space them out a bit. I might as well level another one, why not? I can buy the cow later. Yeah, okay. I can do this next turn. I can't do all of it, though. I'd have to buy and sell a cow, and then buy the milk, and then buy and sell another cow. And then buy the cat for the second load of milk. But I think it's still worth it, so fine. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Kino just casually ignores Cheetah. I don't look at the things. There was a mammoth. I, like, look at chat and, like, wave around my mouse. But yeah, they should not have had a mammoth. He lives. The order helped. Okay. So let's let's try and spread these out a little bit. And I can sell this. Buy another sushi. Cool. That was a solid turn. I have no idea what sort of order I need though. <laughs> Maybe opening with one of these is good. Uh, you could be my backline, because you're, like, super healthy, but not that high attack. Yeah. Okay. Top 10 already? Yeah, looks like it. Top 8-ish? Yeah, so I do need to find a mushroom. I don't have it locked in my head, though, so I'm probably just going to miss it. This is some uniform scaling. The problem is, I don't actually know how good it is. Because if I go against a similar team, then... Everything's just going to explode from the explosions. You know, like, it's actually just going to chain backwards until everything dies. No. Yeah, I need a mushroom. <laughs> I need a mushroom. Or a, or a honey. I'll take a honey. Okay, so, welcome to the team. I will continue buying stats. And... Do I take another one of these? That I can't tell, because... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like a mushroom is slightly better, because if I end up in a situation where it's like 1-1 one, one, one badger against 2-1-1 one, one badgers, or bees, then, sorry, if I have 1-1-1 one, one, one and they have 2-1-1s, one, then a 1-1 one, one badger will still be able to trade with 2, whereas a bee will not. It's like, mushroom on there would be slightly better. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to leave the melons on here for now, but I may get another one soon. That's a lot of... Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, because they all chain back. Yeah, never mind then. <laughs> so this is only... That was only necessary if I'm against, like, multiple bees. Or at least one frontline bee. 
but that's probably not going to happen because I think everyone's running like mostly mushrooms. There is this team, so that helps against that team. What just happened? Uh, they had a load of mushrooms. I think three mushrooms. So it summoned like three one one badges. I got one 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 badger, but obviously when a badger dies, it still does its ability, which for some reason doesn't round down. So it still does like one damage to everything when they die. I'm horrible at explaining things, but <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm going to freeze this. If I can find another pill, I'd love to get one of those going. One much draw versus too much, while one honey loses to two honeys. I don't know. Yeah, see? One mushroom good against two honeys. Okay, so buy this, buy this. Freeze? I could also just like unfreeze and roll for pills, but I don't think I'd do that. How big are things getting? I'm not seeing like too many really high level ones, at least at the top. There's a lot of them down here. But I don't know, like, do these still insta kill everything? Like, do I want to get another mushroom now? Maybe I just embrace that, like, next turn's probably the end. If this if this turn isn't where I die, the next turn probably is. So maybe I just like buy sushi, buy baby <laughs> baby badger, and then give it a mushroom. Yeah, I think this is where the infinite draws come in. Wouldn't one mushroom be bad against four bees if everything is dying? I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it would isn't it would be a loss, but it'd be better than just having one bee versus four bees. Yeah, I am scared now though, because like, because there's like no reason to do this, right? Like, what's the point? Because you only need one of these to get going, unless I am running into the team with, like, loads of honey. And I don't think I lose against that. I don't know, I'm going to do it for now anyway, but... It's because I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, run it like this. I'd much rather this thing, like, barely take any damage, but... Honestly, it's still going to take a big hit from the opponent's giant badger. Oh mine, something's going to happen. Like, there's no way this survives two massive badger hits. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of a strat. Wouldn't one mushroom be bad? Oh, I already read that. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, put the small one in the fourth slot so you do less damage against your fifth unit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, this needs to be a bit of a buffer. Sadly, it's not big enough to actually soak up damage damage, but it did keep it alive. I don't know what to do, though, because like, I still want to buy sell stuff but it's so close to the end i think i just roll for food i will not be buying an apple i will take one of these probably do i there's no way i get more mushrooms nah there's no way okay just buy this <laughs> buy that and just be done with it i may even go for like triple level twos just for the meme if nothing else i should just like freeze these because you know i'm not going to be buy selling anymore so, might as well freeze every badger and sloth I see. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, what I could do is try and find two honey? No, because I only wins. I need three honey. <laughs> Yeah, this is scary, because like, I'd have to get, like, a load of honey to be able to, um, like, stall against one mushroom. And Robodog, welcome back. Rereading messages for content now. I didn't... I can't know what a message is until I read it, and I read it while I'm reading it out loud. Uh, yeah, obviously I'm not going to try and level another one of these, I think. Oh, just, like, just stats. Stats, and then I'm looking for honey... I need to get out of infinite draws at some point. Like, I know I rolled sushi, but, like, this isn't... Buying sushi isn't going to get me a win. Cheeky comeback win? That'd be sick. I, I just don't know if it's possible. I feel like it's just going to be, like, infinite draws. Never mind, I did die! They had the play. <laughs> Alright, I'm free. Uh, Shablul. Congratulations, you've taken me down, Monty. I wish you guys luck. Let me know who wins. At least we did get a Believer game, though. 
So we can pull that one out. Uh, do we want to end with a loot box only thing? Monty also lost a life. Oh, so it's like a... Oh, it's actually like the final fight then, probably. Hell yeah. Level 3 only. I do enjoy level 3 only as well. I'll do another poll for it then, because this is probably going to be the last one. So what should we do? So, loot box only. So that's things like spider, stalk, orca, saber tooth, those things. Things that summon randomly when they do stuff. Uh, level 3 is only, so that means you can only run level 3 things on your team. There are like 5 easy things to go for. And then if you have some of those, you maybe like sell them or give them grapes or something to make it possible to get other things, but I don't know how likely that is. And then... I don't know, I'm gonna say red pets only, because I made that pack too. Just red only. I'm gonna give this a minute, because I don't want to be sitting here too long. But yeah, those are the options. Full house, I just made the poll. Sorry. I've rotated today. Yeah, because I haven't actually played with the new characters that much, and I want to try some Danger 5 runs. It's been a while. How do you get to level 3? Uh, so there's a handful of things where you can get to level 3 in one turn. The most obvious one is Guinea Pig. If you buy three of those, then you get effectively six Guinea Pigs, so you can combine them all together and get, you know, an instant level 3. But you can also do it by getting, like, three sheep, filling that, and combining them for a level 3 ram. Uh, you can do the same with ants from an anteater. Uh, what is it? Chicks from the rooster. Uh, pigs from the wolf, and you even get extra, so you can sell that for another, like, free six gold or something. I don't know. <laughs> Probably, like, four gold. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's one other thing, but I can't remember right now. I'll try and work them out once we've decided what we're doing. You have a strat. Keep buying avocados until you reach the gold cap, then two level three alpacas. I mean, that would be pretty cool. It looks like loot box only one, though, so let me... Again, I don't have a pack for that, so I may have to change it quite a lot. Or I do have a pack, but it's not up to date. I think I have a pack anyway. Hold on, it's definitely not in here, right? It is not. Okay, how... Hold on, I'm trying to see if I do have any that are, like, kind of recent. But I could probably just use a filler pack, actually. Use that and then add it. Like, there's only five things. So, what did we do? We did one once only already. I have saved it, so I can just import over it. So, first thing, spider, stalk, already in, good. Uh, then, eagle, saber tooth, orca. Okay, so I need saber tooth in here. So, no one's going to be using dragon. Include alpaca and avocado. What? No, no, we're not. We're not doing that though. We're doing um, loot box though. I mean, I will include alpaca, but that's already in. I don't know if we actually need avocado. It's already in anyway. It's all good. You need at least three avocados per turn. I mean, yes and no. I think the bigger issue is you'd have to have six levels worth just in the shop ready. But, like, you can always just sell something if you need. Because it's not that bad to get, like, a, um, a level 3 pig, say. And you can sell that for, like, twice as much gold as a normal level 3. And Joker, thank you for the four months. Decidedly up dog. Glad to hear it. Popcorn. Oh, popcorn is a great suggestion. Uh, I'm going to get rid of melon because there is turtle in the pack. So if you really want to get melon armor, then you can get it from this. I think the rest is fine, so we're probably good to go. I don't know, I can maybe like throw a chocolate cake in here. Might be slightly more interesting. Okay. Let's do that then. So this is loot box. Donut instead of waffle. Uh there I don't think there's going to be any snipes, so I think you're safe from that. No waffle rights. It, it's too late. I've made the pack, it's fine. Like, no one's gonna be using donuts anyway. Like, you know, waffles in there in case you just, like... There's a lot of things in there that don't do anything except out of, like, a very small chance thing. But there's barely anything that's good at that tier, so I think it's fine. No one really buys anything from tier 4 other than pears. Uh, 
Anyway, let me find this. Oh, did they say donuts? Oh, yeah, maybe we should have done that. I was assuming... I, I can't remember what the other thing was. I I assumed they meant a different food, but yeah. Would have been a good idea. Did not do it. Probably won't restart. Loot box only. What am I doing for emojis then? Is there a random emoji? Loot emoji. I have no idea. There's a slot machine emoji. Okay, we'll do that. That gets the point across. First view up you're gonna play in like a month. Is it really loot box if you don't have to tap it? That's true, but you're also not allowed to tap it on the team. Like it it'd be fine for the sake of getting levels, but like you don't really need it. What were the pets? I don't know. There's there's two at tier two, a tier five, and two tier sixes. But otherwise I am going to lose it. Are there strict rules? Yes, it, it has to be... Yeah, XRB has it. Spider, Stalk, Orca, Eagle, and Sabertooth. Those are the, the five things. So you have to have those. And a Sloth, yes. Stap is still, still somewhat random, though. The, the problem is, if you include that, then you have to include Parrot, then you have to include stuff like the level, the tier 2 thing that summons randomly. Anyway, we're just not doing it. It's, it's those five things. Yes, Robodog, thank you for the pin thing. And uh, yeah, let's start a prediction, and then I think we're good to start. I'm just gonna say top 10 again. It's top third. The list is pinned for all non mobile users. Thank you, thank you. Okay, anyway, let's go. Alright, guys, it's the final lobby of the day. I don't know why my stuff hasn't been changing. I'm pretty sure it's all randomized, but. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a game where you have to end your turn with one of five things. It either has to be Spider, Stork, Eagle, Sabertooth, or Orca. So anything that randomly summons something else. The tap it isn't allowed because it wouldn't actually do anything by itself. But you're allowed to, you know, pill it on your team to get another thing in the shop phase. But yeah, any food's allowed, anything's allowed during your shop phase. And yeah, go crazy. You guys know the rules. I got worried there because I keep forgetting that it like looks like it unfreezes if you roll too quickly. But I'll be starting with this. I'm hoping to find way more Storks than Spiders though because Spiders is slightly better early but Storks scale into the late game really well. You just rolled three of one pet twice in a row. What? Wait, what pets were they? Okay, uh, yeah, so get these. I need to find another one, yes. Okay, and then I just have to sell them all again. And then end my turn without spending the rest of my gold. And then I start next turn with a free apple and free three rolls. Taking tamarind? Is tamarind in this pack? Oh, like Marmoset, maybe? <laughs> I probably would have just frozen that, like, triple tamarind. If, if you meant the mama set, I mean. Hey, Kino, haven't been able to catch a stream in a while, but hope you're well. Thank you, hope you're well as well, Smurf. Stoat? No, stoat, stoat isn't a... It's not one of the five things. So yeah, we're, we're doing the five things that are pinned. Again, there's a lot of things that are like maybes, but... It's, it's too difficult to make lobbies with... I, I, just, I just can't. People are always going to say that like a certain other things should be added, and you need to draw a line somewhere. Are you going to TwitchCon EU this year, by the way? I'm thinking about it, but I also don't know what you do there, and I have already found a spider and a stork. <laughs> I like the idea of going, but like I said, I don't really know what people actually do. Uh, do I chocolate cake? It's probably worth it, but I want to be buying stats as well, so I may leave those. Stoats. Uh, like, I can buy sell it, and it's like a, not a terrible chance of finding one of these. It's like one gold if it messes up. Come on. No, I'm gonna look for levels before I try and get like this stuff. Like, this is the best time to be looking for spiders and stalks, so yeah, I'll do this. 
But yeah, I think because like the EU one this year is at Paris, right? It was like Amsterdam somewhat recently. I don't really know what happened during COVID because I think I swear it was like Amsterdam like three years in a row, and I don't know if there was ever actually an in-person thing for it. it was not very, you know, <laughs> on top of that. But yeah, I may do. I don't know. I need to look into it really. And yeah, I don't need any of these. Just these. Bring me more. I will continue to try this. Yes, there we go. Oh, amazing. Buy this first. Keep that frozen. Yes, okay. Now I'm liking it. What pack is this? It's a custom pack. It's a pack I made that's just like, um. I don't know, lots of filler pets. It's like one of the easier things for me to just like edit quickly if there's just a handful of things that we should be allowed to use. Can you get the config to the pack? Like the pack code? I mean, I could probably dump it in chat quickly if you need it. You're considering going, but I want to see which streamers are going. That's why I'm asking. Because if no streamers are going, then what? Wait. And why subject myself to the smell of the houses that Twitch uses in one building? I have heard that it does get smelly, yeah. I've never been to a convention before. So that would be my first time <laughs> experiencing that. Yeah, the pet code. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that in a second. Lobfish, yes. Uh, Yeah, so what I'm going to do is this, I think. So I'm going to run a three squad. But I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm freezing these as well. I'd love to get a garlic on here, and I think I do need it, but like, this is good stats. Maybe I should have um, combined those actually when I still had the other thing on the board. But yeah, we're good. I think what I do now is like buy stalk and then just buy salad balls and hope it misses that spider. And then I can just buy um, a garlic later. Actually, I'll have to do it after this. Conventions get wild. There are Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments that openly state in the rules that people are required to shower before arriving. I mean, I've always been the kind of guy that's like... I don't want to say obsessive about keeping clean, but like, I want... I feel dirty if I don't shower before I like get in bed. I wash my hands after I get like anything on them. And yeah, I, I just don't understand how people can... <laughs> go into public, like, stinking. Joker, thank you for the hydration. Get that. Yeah, it'd be an experience, though. Like, if I am going to be, like, a streamer somewhat long-term, then I like the idea of going to some events, because there really aren't that many things. Like, I know there's, like, VidCon, there is TwitchCon, obviously. Uh, I'd rather combine that next turn or the turn after that, because then I can maybe find this or better buy sell things. So I'm going to hold out there. But maybe do this. That wasn't the best hit. <laughs> I'm just gonna unfreeze these. All right, another spider. I could, I don't want to invest in the spider anymore though. Like, I think this stays at level two and then I eventually get rid of it. So I'll leave that. Freeze this, cause I can always use more levels for the stalk or something. And roll soccer, thank you for the prime. Very kind of you, appreciate it. I haven't showered in ages because of personal reasons. Only shower every day, though. I feel that. For me, like showering, like I, I know a lot of people don't like showering, but I like my, I like showering. As long as it's like warm. I've had to shower when we like had really messed up boiler at some point, and it was, uh, yeah, very unpleasant. <laughs> right. I don't need a waffle. I think I'm good there. We'll be buying one of these. Would love to find some pills. Excellent. Uh, I'd be losing a bit of stats, but I do think I'd pill this onto there next turn. Like for now, just try and pass some money on. Yeah, next turn, I think I combine that into there, pill Blobfish onto it, and then the turn after that, so when I can see like tier sixes, I'll combine my two stalks together and maybe the spider. I don't know. People don't like showering? I mean, I know a lot of people... I think a lot of people don't like the idea of showering, but they like showering. If that makes sense. Like, they'll kind of avoid it for ages, but then be fine with it when they're there. And look, I got like a blobfish chain. 
That is amazing. And I still, like, barely won. <laughs> when people shower three times a day, I'm like, the good jobs, thank God. I'm kind of tempted to start, like, showering twice a day. Because, like, I want to start working out in the mornings, like, consistently. And if I do that, I feel like I'd want to shower if I was going to go anywhere or if I got especially sweaty. Like, if it's going to be summer, like, I sweat a lot. It's like, I want to shower before I go to bed, but I'd also want to shower so I'm not, like, stinky for other people or myself. It's like, I may end up showering twice a day. I can't imagine a situation where I'd do more than that. Anyway, I'm actually going to hold off on the... The blobfish, I think, because I'd rather do these later if I can afford to. I'm not going to stow it. This is still fine. You shower once a day, but mostly twice, especially in the summer. Yeah, like, I think that's where I'm going to head. Like, I very rarely shower twice a day. It's always been, like, consistently once. But also showering every other day. I think I think that that's, like, probably the best for you. Like I said, I just feel dirty if I don't shower every day, but... I've also heard stuff like, if you shower too much, then, yeah, it's, you're washing away good stuff on your skin. So I think every other day is meant to be pretty good. Again, Kino on the other ones again. Wolf, I'm sorry. Did I cost you like two hearts there? Uh, hold on. I mean, I'm combining these. So I might as well do this for now. Maybe on there. And then I can combine the spiders to see what that turns into. Tap it. I could do that for maybe XP, but I already have this one. So I'm just going to do something like this for now just to spend my money. This is all amazing. I'm not going to freeze another blowfish. I have too many things already. Let's send it like this. So then next turn, I can like buy sell my platypies. Probably should have put the banana on something else because I wasn't expecting to get my level for the stalk so soon. Because now I'm going to have to combine my banana into here and lose it. And that was awful. I got a level two. What was that? Level two Jaboa. Like <laughs> very bad. Loads more stalks and XP. Damn. Oh, the tap is stop. I can't use these. Okay, let's do this. I uh, actually don't need to make room yet, so yeah, lose that. Waste. <laughs> these aren't the things. These aren't the things that I want. Okay, so might as well sell the duck first. I'm gonna sell this next because I don't really want that to get buffed either. But I think I'll do this just to see where I can get. Although I probably shouldn't have been doing that because I could have been rolling for eagles. Yeah, I should be doing that instead. How did you get melon on stalk? Oh, I pilled a turtle. There is also crane in here, so you could also do it by like pilling a hedgehog or <laughs> something with that. But you'd have to make sure this is slightly more healthy. If I had a, a badger in the pack, that'd probably be a better way to do that. Yeah, ouch. I've lost HP. Never wash away all the good stuff on your skin, especially the good stuff is snorting worthy. Huh? Amazing advice in chat. <laughs> oh, do I do this? Like, I do want to get a, um, a Sabertooth on the team. So I, I might be able to be able to find it if I do this. I'll try. Oh, Sabertooth. Instant. Now I can freeze this again. <laughs> and not feel terrible about it. Okay, I might Lemon as well, because I feel like a lot of people are going to be having somewhat small summons. Probably won't be amazing yet, but I don't want to... Get that popping off at some point. See, I'll leave that there. Two level three spiders and a level two orca on turn ten. That is a lot of spiders. Oh yeah, there they are. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting to see the eagles popping up. I think the eagles might be one of the stronger things because it's it's the same as um stalks and stuff where like everything they summon are multiple times the size they normally are. <laughs> Very sorry, Civil. Okay, yeah, I don't want this. Like, Walrus could be cool as well, but I don't want to risk it either, and I already need to pill my Blobfish onto here, so I don't want to be freezing two things. What do I do with this? Like, I want to buy sell the Zebra. Maybe what I can do is, like, buy Orca, sell Spider, and then buy sell Zebra. Because, like, this isn't very good in the late game. Because I'm summoning a 4-4. Like, at least whatever this comes out of this is probably going to be, like, giant and have a decent ability. 
This is probably going to suck, even though it's slightly bigger at the moment, so... I think next turn, Spider goes, and I can start by selling Zebras and hopefully hit more useful things. I think Orc is probably fine at the front, at least when it's level 1. I'm sorry to see your dead robot dog. And Wolf, I think. Yeah. Should you spam accounts to get Penguin buff? I think people are probably just happy to see it not in use anymore. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Stork. The best summon. Well, yeah, I get Penguin buffed. I do want Penguin to get buffed. Like, it does deserve it. Uh, there is a pill. Okay, get rid of this. I am going to try and level my Sabertooth guy first, because I really want that to be giant. I don't know what to do about my other Stork, to be honest. Because I'm afraid if I like keep buying these things, it's gonna like end up hitting there too often, but... Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I can do that. I can maybe freeze a tap here and try and pill that, and it'd probably turn into something useful. Yeah, I'll freeze it. If I don't have like other things I want to pill already, then I think this is fine. Might swap those two around. You miss Penguin Bison meta. I... I don't know if you mean like both at the same time, because I basically never did that. For me, it was always like, Penguin was a great scaler just to keep on your team. And Bison, I liked teams where I had like, as many Bison as I could fit. <laughs> also, I keep summoning like, those stalk things and that is not good. Is there donut in this pack? There is not. Okay, so I can either do that or I can do it onto my Orca, but I think I will be starting here. I just need to get more stats onto this. Uh, snail. I want those stats. Yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna freeze the popcorn, because if I don't find anything in two rolls, then I think I will just, you know, sell snail, buy the popcorn. This is fine to look for a pill thing as well. So, let's do that. I think everything's fine where it is, more or less. You've only found one pill in the whole game. I found a few. I haven't really been using them too often, though. Like, I've filled maybe two blobfish. And then what? A turtle. That might be it, but I can't really remember now. Grab Penguin and four bison at one point. What I hate is that they made bison a, um... They, they made it so much harder to use, because... Well, harder to use in a meme build, because now it doesn't trigger itself. So if you want to have a... I should have played that there, just in case, because now I may end up um, not having stuff. I'm going to roll the pair, let's see if I can find like better stuff than I did. Anyway, what was I trying to say? Oh, <laughs> well, there's my big frozen shop. Uh, yeah, what I liked to do was run like a full team of bison, and at that time you only needed to have one level 3 bison, and it would trigger all of them. But at some point, they changed it so Bison can't trigger its own ability. So if you wanted a full Bison victory that was still scaling, then you'd have to have at least two level 3 Bison, which is... It's, it's too much. <laughs> it's, like, very hard to get off the ground. Surprised I lasted this far, considering I lost two rounds because you went into that lag. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, turn 15 is fine. I'm probably on my way out, like, looking at half the teams that keep showing up. I feel like I kind of scammed that. <laughs> like, obviously it's loot boxes, so like, it's all going to be random, but... I feel like I probably didn't deserve that win. Alright, I don't know what to do here, because I can level the Sabertooth, I can level the Orca. That would take all of my gold, and then I'd have like a fourth squad. So I don't know whether it's better to like, I don't know, level Sabertooth, and then just like, run a separate Orca this turn. And then I can look for pills and stuff for this later. Or maybe I just, like, get the stakes, so this might be able to trade, and then I can... I don't know. <laughs> buy some separate... There's, there's too many things to do. I'm gonna do it this way. Don't care about cats. This is the end of this. Okay. So now this is, like, very high level, but it's still tiny, so I need to get stats onto it. Nice shop there, Kino. It legitimately was a nice shop. Have you seen the true mean bills? Wait, what do you mean? What's the true meme build? Our links allowed. I was asked this recently, and my honest answer is I don't know. 
I think I can't remember how I set up the um the rules for that. So there's a good chance it would get deleted. I think one thing I do need to do is um have a I don't know, like a chat command so I can stop stuff. Oh yeah, there was like that stuff. Yeah, maybe it's safe then. Okay, anyway, I need this on the team, I think. Probably not gonna just mushroom it for a while. Another one of those? No idea. I mean, I'll end on it, but... I think I'm gonna end up, like, throwing that to the front of the team, actually. And, you know what? Stoats maybe were a good idea. Because then I can, like, buy-sell them, and there's, like, a, you know, one in ten chance... Two in ten chance of it being something useful. Probably something should I try. I mean, I doubt you're going to get banned. And if you do get banned for it, then I'll just unban any unjustified bans. So you're probably good, but I would also appreciate that people didn't, like, spam loads of suspicious links in chat. You know, like, there's a reason why people usually don't have, um, you know, don't let just anyone spam links into chat. I'm gonna leave this stuff. Continue leaving. I could take a sushi. I really want targeted stuff, though. Like, I need, like, cows and stuff, or pills for these. I'm gonna unfreeze this now, I think, and, like, fine. Not where I wanted those to go. This is good. Kino.com, very much a suspicious link. Yes, yes, very suspicious. Anyway, Kino and chat, this is the true meme build. Alright, hold on. Let me open. Yes, no, I have seen that. <laughs> I have indeed seen that. The, like, quad sloth victory. Yeah, like, custom... Custom pack stuff that you're going crazy. What was that? No. Actually, I actually lost because the weakness. Damn. <laughs> Did I summon two microbes? Why? Ah, oh, pain. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. I think I'll try and level this stalk now. I've been seeing enough of these that I might as well. Like we're almost there. How did they? It's because there's, like, weird stuff you can do with, um... You can almost have, like, an infinite thing going if you have, uh... Oh, god. It's like Terra... I don't know. It's like Pterodons, Tapirs, Mushrooms, Donuts, Oysters. It's that stuff. I'm not going to be able to word it here because I will miss stuff out, but... The strat makes sense. What is difficult is then actually pivoting to the... You know, the full slot thing. But you basically use, like, an infinite turn, where you just have, like, infinite money to do whatever you want. To, like, scale up your shop all the way, uh, try and find whatever you need in the shop, and then you attempt to go for the pivot. But you still need to get lucky to actually find, um, the things you need. Because once you pivot away from the infinite money scaling, then you don't have a lot of time to try and get all the slots on the team. 50-50 shop, donut tap it. Yeah. I mean, that is my hero. They've posted this, like, attempt several times. Because I think there's, like... There's been at least three tries. I think they had at least um one double south... Like, level three double south game. And then... I think there was one with three of them as well. Uh, Hold on. I'm, I'm losing it. Sell that before something bad happens. Get these on here. Another pill. Another pill. Excellent. But yeah, they've done it several times. Only two people left. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I think I was actually so close there. If the thing I summoned had like one more HP, I think it would have traded through. You know, it wouldn't have been a win, but I think it would have been a draw. But Oh well, GG's. I'll take that. GG's, GG's.